Okay, so just before the break, tennis great Lindsay Davenport dropped in. What a career. Yeah. Certainly deserving of the Hall of Fame honors. Well, let's see if Delmarva Life Sean Stryker would be any match to Lindsay. He's on the court today in Rehoboth Beach where he's taking on some of the sports future stars. Sean, so tell us, how's the competition out there? Uh, Jimmy and Lisa, these kids are good. I mean, I've played a little tennis and these guys are giving me a run for my money and the man responsible for teaching many of these kids, Marty Godwin. Marty, thanks so much for joining me today. I mean, what's the deal out here? I didn't know you could start at such a young age. Yeah, it's amazing. The kids can play right off of day one. Uh -huh. And I know we're using some special equipment though. It's these foam and low compression balls that allow the kids to enjoy tennis right off the bat. We teach them some of the fun first, then the fundamentals, mm -hmm. keeps them coming back. They absolutely love it and like I said, they can do it on day one. Now what, what, what exactly is up with the tennis balls? They're not hard, they're mm -hmm. small and they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're um, foam mm -hmm. and low compression and they stay on your racket. The harder balls are much more difficult to play with. It's the same type of thing. You wouldn't want to shoot in the same basket for a five-year-old Kobe Bryant does. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So what are some of the drills they're learning? You said the fundamentals. What are the fundamentals? You'd be surprised how adults don't know the ready position mm -hmm. or how to swing or how to follow through on the backhand mm -hmm. side. We really hammer those fundamentals in. Um, and they can grow their game from that. And it looks like they're having a great time. They do. They do. They love it. They have uh -huh. a great time. So, I mean, ideally, it's it's good to start at such a young age, but what about myself? I mean, is, it, is there a certain age that's too old for tennis? No, I've run national tournaments for players in their 70s. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can grow your game from whenever you start at 25 or 35. Based on the fundamentals, it's going to put a ceiling on how good you're going to end up being. So. Uh -huh better your fundamentals and these guys are learning it right off the so start. So it's a lifetime sport. It sure is. Now I got two fierce competitors over there. They challenged me to a little match and Jimmy and Lisa, you guys know I'm not one to turn down some competition. I'm going to go take them on. You, Good you luck. You provide a little commentary for the people at home. I'm going to serve. You guys want me to serve? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to serve first. All right. Now guys, just so you know at home, I wore my yellow shorts today. I figured if I looked like a tennis ball, I'd be a little better, but ugh. I don't know if it's exactly working out, especially against these guys. Oh, they're really good. Who do we have down there, Marty? That's Miles Godwin and Dylan Fannin. Uh huh. And so they're the they're the future stars. Is that that's what you're telling me? These guys oh, yeah. are going to be in the U.S. Open soon. Oh yeah. Oh, they're rallying with me pretty good. Ball coming. Oh, I whiffed. Oh well, well you know what? I want to finish this match up because I think I think we got a competition going on here. Jimmy and Lisa, I'm going to send it back to you guys. Is it my serve? I can't <laughs> catch it. <laughs> he is fired up. He is. <laughs> Did you see Dylan rush the net? Oh, my goodness. Wow. That was awesome. Well, you know, sometimes it can feel like a workout just trying to find clothes that fit. But could virtual fitting rooms change all of that? Up next on Delmarva Life, we're seeing how they work. Plus, wait till you hear what else clothing companies are working on. It may soon be the end of buyer's remorse. We'll be right back.